Have you been a victim of headaches? Did you know that certain indoor lighting conditions can cause or trigger a headache? Yes, popping a pill can help. But sooner or later, you realize nothing works and the headache is back and the same routine of pills. The culprit you know could be the LED bulb or the baton or the tube light that you're using in your room. It might just be time to replace them. So don't believe me, just look it up. Scientific American has an article that throws some light on this subject. There's a lot of information here uh, on the effect of lights and circuits. I'll leave links in the description below if you want to read more about this. The interesting bit comes in uh, later down in the article and I'll sum the subject up for you. So LED lights or LED bulbs do flicker. And that's because of alternating current. They do this at a very fast rate. And they also mentioned that LED lights have dimming by about 100%. So that's something your eyes can't see, but it's happening at a very high pace. Fluorescent lamp also have these effect, but they dim the lights by about 35%, which is why the LED lights might be causing more headaches. And this flicker is actually uh, detected during saccades. Basically, certain movement of your eyes away from a subject. You know, when you tend to do that, you observe the flicker of the bulb. There's another website here called downtoearth.org, which also talks about this effect. And it claims that your brain has to work harder to counter the flicker. I went to amazon.com to kind of see if there's any alternative solutions to lighting when it comes to flicker. And there was this bulb called Orient I Love bulb that claimed to have zero flicker or some sort of a control to put this flicker um, away from causing headaches. So I looked up the website. They do have some nice visual representation of how this technology helps prevent uh, you know, eye problems. And they also have a wide range of products. And we are gonna look at the bulb today so this is just a 9 watt uh, LED bulb, it's flicker free and let's check it out. So I got 8 of these priced just about under 200 INR for each of these. I like the way these are packaged together. Switch to smart is their motto. This box has a nice feel to it. Wait a minute. It says recommended by the Indian Medical Academy for preventive healthcare. Wow, that's really nice. The bulb's got a three star energy rating and it's rated at 100 watts or sorry, 100 lumens per watt. So that's nine. This is a nine watt bulb. so. Uh, it should give out about 900 lumens. On the other side, it says it's got a power factor of 0.9 and obviously it works only on 220 to 240 volts AC. So this wouldn't run on low voltages as is what I'm assuming. Uh, otherwise, it's just a typical LED bulb. So everything else about it is normal and it's made in a nice ISO, certi ISO certified plant. So it's good quality too. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. There you go, the bulb is out. So this is the I Love series of bulbs from Orient. And it's got this nice silver finish on the heatsink area. And of course the polycarbonate coating on top which diffuses the light. The holder is a simple B22. So it should fit in any regular bulb holder. So I'm just placing this to next to uh, a Philips bulb. So this is a Philips 2-in-1 bulb. It's about two years old and size-wise the Philips is actually smaller than this particular bulb. But you know, they are very similar to look at. What we're going to do here is some tests for you. So I have three other bulbs that I'm going to compare the lights with 
for the Orient I Love series. So we're going to see if there's any kind of flicker at different frame rates, right? So Orient themselves have mentioned that you can uh, run a slow motion video test, which means you're capturing things at high speed, see if there's a flicker happening. So we're going to do this with three other bulbs. So I have a Murphy bulb, which I just recently brought, multi-watt. There's an Everready bulb, which is about four years old, Philips bulb, which is about one and a half, two years old. And then there's the Orient I love. So let's start with the Everready, the four year old bulb. Okay, at 120 frames per second, this is the Everready. And yes, there's a noticeable flicker. And I'm assuming uh, if I switch the frame rate, it's gonna be the same. I'm throwing some random objects just to show you that this is running at 120 frames per second. Let's switch the frame rate over. 240 frames per second, it's uh, nothing better. And you will see that the flicker is just obvious. So if you have an older bulb, I think it's time for you to change. Next, we have the Philips bulb. So again, this is a two-in-one bulb, about two years old. And straight away at 240 frames per second, you will see that there's no flicker. At least the camera is not capturing anything. I, I still see slight flickering towards the end, but I'm just looking at how amazing this bulb is. It's uh, already been taken care of, I guess, in the flips as well. At 120 frames per second, again, nothing different. So there's no flicker in the Philips bulb. Let's move to something different. So this is the Halonix radar. So this bulb comes with a PIR sensor. Yes, not everybody liked this bulb when it launched because it just doesn't work effectively. Again, this I removed the top cover for some experimental purposes, but there was no flicker again. At 240 frames per second, I was surprised. So this bulb costs around 300 uh, rupees for a single bulb. And again, it's an expensive bulb, just like the Philips, and it does not flicker. So there was no difference. Even at 120 frames per second, I was just shocked to know that this is a non-flickering bulb. Amazing. I recently got a multi-watt bulb called Murphy, and it could run 15 watt, 8 watts, and 0.5 watts in the same bulb. I was really disappointed. Yes. There's a lot of flicker in this bulb. Please stay away from this. So multi watt bulbs clearly are a no-no if you have a headache problem. And the flicker is terrible. So let's get back to the Orient bulb right now. And what a relief, right? So yes, undoubtedly, this bulb does not flicker. It's just like the sun. It's absolutely still. And at 240 frames per second, it just performs brilliantly. Not even the slightest thing which I noticed has any sort of flicker in this image. I ran the test a couple of times just to see if it will fail somewhere, but no, it doesn't. Just like the Philips, just like the Halonix, this bulb doesn't flicker at all. If you have LED bulbs which you bought in the past, or if you don't have LED bulbs, uh, just make sure that you purchase bulbs that do not flicker. If you have older bulbs, please replace them, including tube lights with flicker-free ones. These are triggers for headaches and migraines and replacing a small bulb like this could go a long way. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and share the benefits you got watching this video with your friends. Once again, thank you so much for watching Artec. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.